Hello and welcome back to today's guide on how to set up your Plex Media Server on your Acer Store ADM NAS. This is the latest part in my series of videos on the new version of ADM, Acer Store Software and Services. And today I'm gonna to guide you through how to set up your Plex Media Server. I've already gone through a bunch of other tools on this platform from photos to music to video using the first party apps, but I know a number of you are very keen on utilizing Plex Media Server. So, although I have covered a lot of today's to topics in other videos, I'm gonna go them into little detail as we go through just to make sure you got it right the first thing you need to do is make sure that you know where the media is on your NAS so when you do upload files to the NAS whether you're going to utilize a mapped network drive or you're just going to drag and drop the folders onto your NAS it's recommended that you keep track of where you've sent it in my case an album here I've called Acer Store Share by creating a new shared folder uh, by clicking this option here you can go ahead create a new shared folder and then that shared folder can be accessed via the network and users on the NAS. If you don't know how to set up a shared network drive, do check out the first part of my series of videos on setting up ADM on your NAS. Also, Plex, when you install it, will create its own Plex folder later on, which you can choose to use or ignore. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and upload media into your directory. I recommend that you create different directories for each media type, from TV shows to movies, from music to photos. Just make sure all your files are in the right directories because that you will find this a great deal easier later on to find all of your content. Once you've done that, head into the application center or app center for Acer Store and head down in either the category section and then go into the multimedia option Alternatively, you can just search for the word Plex up here. Scroll down and you'll find Plex Media Server listed among the many available applications. Go ahead and click install, or as I've got it, the word installed, and it will install the app straight away. Once you've installed it, it will appear on your list of available apps, and I've moved it over here. As you can see, it opens up readily, but before we go any further, it's worth remembering that Whichever device you use, your, uh, whichever NAS account you use on your device, make sure they've got access to the Plex Media Server configuration. So go into Access Control and make sure whichever account you're going to be utilizing has access to that account. So for example, if you're using a guest account, you'll see that a guest account doesn't have necessarily all of the access you need. It has access to some of the folders, but not all. So make sure that whichever device you're utilizing, that you are accessing it with an account that has enough access to both the folders your media is in and the applications on the NAS. Once Plex Media Server has been downloaded and installed, it will appear in your available applications. Go ahead and click Plex Media Server and it will open a new tab in your browser window. From here, it will then ask you to log into your account. If you've never logged into Plex Media Server before, you can create a brand new account if you choose. However, it is recommended that you start Plex with an existing account for this installation, and you can head over to the Plex Media Server website in order to create an account. So go ahead and log in to your Plex Media Server account. In my case, I'm going to continue and log in with Google. I have an existing Google account with Plex Media Server, but if you don't, it will pop up on the next screen asking you to register your account. Once you've registered, proceed with the installation and you'll be at this point that I'm on now. As we proceed forward, what's gonna happen is Plex is now linking this NAS on its IP on my local area network with my Plex Media Server account. The amount of time this next screen will take will be heavily dependent on your network and the internet. It can take as little as 10 seconds or as much as several minutes. Let's fast forward till this stage is complete. Once the registration with your Plex Media Server account and the NAS has completed, the next screen you'll see is this. This guides you through setting up your Plex Media Server library. Go ahead and click Got It. It will now ask you to name your Plex Media Server. Now, bear in mind, if you have multiple servers connected to Plex, it can help to rename the account. Otherwise, you can leave it as default, so therefore you know which NAS you're accessing. Or, or additionally, you can choose whether you're going to be accessing the media on your NAS via the local area network only, or if you're going to use the internet. 
If you're going to be connecting remotely, such as if you're in a hotel room and you want to access Plex, or sharing Plex with your friends and family remotely, go ahead and tick this box. Then click Next. Right now, the NAS is having its network and remote configuration with Plex being established. This means that when you're connecting with the, your Plex Media server remotely, your device, be it your Amazon Fire Stick, your mobile phone, or even your PlayStation 5, will communicate with the Plex server, and then Plex will communicate with your NAS via the tunnel that you just created. From this point, you can go ahead and start organizing the library on your NAS. Go ahead and click Add Library to start creating your Plex Media Server Library. If you're going to be adding films, click the Films tab, rename the folder if you choose, and then click Add Folders. Remember earlier when I told you to remember where you uploaded your data and that to make sure that your media was separated into those folders? This is because you need to point the film folder that you're creating now to the correct media folder on the NAS. Select that button. And then the available list of shared folders will be shown on screen. For my case, I went into Plex Media Server and I selected the Movies folder. Clicking Add means it will now add that folder to the index for Plex. If I go to the Advanced tab, I can change some of the settings that allow Plex Media Server to enable trailers, utilize online movie databases in order to find a lot of the information, such as thumbnail information actors, reviews and more and you can change a lot of the information in the background that are going to be utilized by Plex to display the information connected to all of your multimedia. Some services will require an advanced Plex Pass account in order to utilize them whereas others can be utilized for the free Plex account. There's lots of information here and lots of things that you can add to create a more customizable and more user-friendly Plex Media Server interface. Click Add Library, and there you go. When our Plex Media Server is ready, it's going to go to this folder to find all of our movies. Go ahead and start adding other directories, such as TV shows. And again, make sure you assign them to the correct directories on your NAS. And again, each directory has its own list of extras and options that you can use to sort out the perfect design and display for your Plex Media Server. Remember, most of these choices can be edited later on, so don't feel committed that you have to do them now. And also remember that it's not just TV shows and movies, but you can add music and photo collections if you choose. There's even an option for online gaming where you can stream old emulated classic games via Plex Media Server. Again, most of those features aren't quite supported on NAS yet, but they should do soon. Again, as you add more and more different collections of media, each one has the, its own configuration options. And that also includes photography if you choose. If you want to take advantage of photo recognition, you can go ahead and make sure that Plex has access to your photo albums and then creates uh, collections of albums, use tag photos, and can also be connected to other sources online. And there you go. We've got four albums for our Plex Media Server on ADM for our NAS. Click Next to continue, and then you'll be asked if you want to take advantage of Plex apps. Plex apps are individual applications that can add additional services to your system, as well as a list of client applications that you can download onto your client devices, such as mobile devices, desktop devices, and more. With Plex being available on a large number of devices worldwide, this can be very beneficial. Click Done to proceed. As you can see, now Plex Media Server has opened up, and right now we are managing this Plex Media Server from our local access point here via the network. But as now you've registered this NAS with your Plex Media Server account, if you log into your Plex account remotely via the internet on your phone, tablet, console, Fire Stick, and more, it will access the contents of your Plex Media Server. Straight away, if we go to the click button for more, I've got multiple NASs connected with my Plex Media Server account. This Plex Media Server account we use for our tests here on the channel has lots of NASs that will be connected and disconnected. But for your case, you should only see one NAS, this one here. If you select that NAS, the available media on it will be displayed. And as you can see, 
the Plex Media Server NAS has already started finding information online, scraping all of that metadata. If we like, we can go into the Films tab here and select a film. And there's the matrix. The metadata for all of the actors has been found, reviews online, trailers, and lots of other information, as well as review information and more for us to enjoy our Plex Media Server online, with all of this information being available on our client devices. And if ever you want to change any of the information we've added so far, you can go ahead, click the three dots here, and click Manage Server. And this will allow you to change a number of the features and services you've added so far, as well as changing the libraries on individual uh, ones that you've set up, plugins and whether you want to take advantage of transcoding just going there in the menu and going for the transcoder option there's lots of other options open to you as well as the option to run your plex media server locally instead of using the internet using a dlna media server and that's about it that is how to set up plex media server on your asus door nas with adm if you, we've got more videos coming soon where we will feature MB and other multimedia server platforms, which I recommend you check out. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Click like if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you want to learn more about this subject as we test more NASs and do more tutorials. Other than that, I will see you on the next video.